Hello Scorpio, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and future energies for you in love, as well as who you might be dealing with, what you need to know about the energies between you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they cannot resonate with every Scorpio watching. All right, so let's get into it. For Scorpio spirit, what do they need to know regarding love? What messages do you have for Scorpio? What messages do you have for Scorpio spirit? For Scorpio. Okay, we got worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Beautiful. Okay. So let's see. What are the energies surrounding this connection? What are the energies surrounding this connection? The energy surrounding this connection. The energy surrounding this connection. Balancing act, juggling indecision, balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. What else? What are the energy surrounding this connection? Broken silence, honesty, courage, expression. Open up, be vulnerable, and express your true feelings. Mm, so I feel like someone's undecided about opening up here. We'll see. Let's look at the, the tarot. What is going on with Scorpio regarding love? What messages do you have, Spirit, regarding their connection? Well, we got the Empress, first card out. This is what's going on in your connection at this time, or the current situation. Mutual energy, so you're both here. The full reverse. Knight of Wands reverse. Interesting. With the full reverse, the Knight of Wands reverse, there's literally like no movement. Um, poor planning, uh, impulse, like recklessly impulsive choices. Um, this is somebody that doesn't really think or look where they're stepping. And then we have this Empress on the other side, which is very strange because I could tell you this Empress is not the one foolishly jumping into something without thinking about it. That's not Empress energy. So let's clarify. Let's get some more information here. Tell me more about these energies here, help me clarify these energies for Scorpio. What's going on in this connection? Why is the Empress here? Two of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Empress here? I guess the Empress here, <clears throat> King of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck, I have the Emperor. The Emperor, the Empress, Aries energy here. I'm getting a few messages. I'm gonna know more that, as I clarify, but the first couple messages that I'm getting so far is that someone chose wrong and they know it. They could have had an empress, but they blew it. <laughs> That's the message I'm getting so far. Now, I could be wrong, because obviously I'm gonna clarify more. Um, but something here with the Ace of Wands reverse did not happen, did not take place. 
the new beginning was stalled or someone just was not able to manifest or start something new. I feel like this King of Swords knows it. Like they, these two, like they're aware. They know what happened and why. They could even be wanting to talk. I have broken silence here. Open up, be vulnerable and express your true feelings. This could be somebody finally speaking up about whatever happened with this Empress. Now let's see, why do we have the full reverse? Why is the full reverse? The higher font and the eight of pentacles with the tower at the bottom of the deck. Someone I feel jumped into a commitment or they jumped into something thinking that they were doing the right thing. This could have been work related. This could be something where this person put in a lot of effort, a lot of work into something. Um, but I have a tower with the seven of pentacles reversed with the three of swords. So it's not, it wasn't a good investment or it wasn't something, whatever they worked on did not manifest. Um, I feel like they're probably going through a tower moment here because they jumped into something without really thinking of the consequences. Why is the full reverse? Now this could be you as well, Scorpio. Take it as it resonates because both of you are here in this spread. Why is the full reverse? There's the Empress again with the Ten of Swords. You see what I'm saying? Someone, <laughs> I feel like someone messed up. This Empress could have even put a stop to something. This Empress could have been the one to say, I'm not going to, first of all, I'm going to remove myself from being juggled or from being just another decision, or I'm the one making the decisions now, <laughs> whatever the case may be. This Empress, I feel, could have even put a stop to something. Perhaps someone got with an Empress here and they foolishly made a mistake and it caused an ending. Heavy Taurus energy here. Um, this could have been a marriage for some of you. The Empress could be a mother. Very um, feminine, beautiful energy. The Empress is a prize. She is... Um, She's able to grow and manifest. That's why I don't think she would be the one to make the mistake. That's why I think someone messed with this Empress. And I feel like they're they're feeling it now. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? This is somebody that could have been unfaithful or someone that um, was not able to commit, was just jumping in and out here. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Yeah, whatever it was, it was not successful. <laughs> and then we have the devil. Definitely not. This could have been someone that was tempted and made a mistake. Capricorn energy. This person made the wrong choice. I, I just keep thinking that. And if this is you, Scorpio, all of us make mistakes. I'm not saying this person made the wrong choice and making fun of them is, you know, it's a part of life to not really, none of us can really see the future or know what's around the corner. So some of us could jump in thinking that it's going to be a beautiful experience or the right decision only to find out much later that it wasn't. Um, so I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that making mistakes is something like that you're, that's beneath you. That's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying that, you know, this is a very human Thing to go through. I feel like someone was led astray and it led to something that was not successful. Why is the Knight of Wands reverse? Is the Knight of Wands reverse? Seven of Wands reverse and then the High Priestess reverse. So I feel like something came to the light here. Something was revealed, a secret was revealed or someone, maybe someone wasn't even listening to their intuition here as well. Maybe they were resisting that little voice inside of their head that 
the, or heart that was telling them this isn't the right thing to do. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if this is something that Scorpio, this person has done to you or if this is something that you have done to someone or if this is outside of the both of you, but regardless, it's affecting you in some way because this is your reading. Okay, so let's see. Let's get some more information about how you are thinking of each other here. Tell me about how Scorpio and this person are feeling or thinking of each other at this time. What energies are they bringing to this connection? Let's see. What energies is Scorpio bringing to this connection? And it's funny because I have divine timing at work in your love life. So time has passed here. Standing firm. Okay, Scorpio. So you have defense, resistance, courage. You're standing firm against any challenge. That's a seven of wands. Tell me about Scorp Scorpio's person. What energy are they bringing to this connection? Wedding bells. Marriage, commitment, union, wedding bells are ringing. Interesting. You could be dealing with someone who is married or in a commitment of some sort. Bottom of the deck, I have far apart. So I don't think you're together. This could even be how this person sees you. You could be in a marriage and this person already knows it. So take it as it resonates. I have you on this side and your person on the other. It can be flipped. But also keep in mind that this is probably also how you're viewing each other. So you are probably thinking this person is standing firm and they're probably thinking you're in, you know what I mean? Um, but to avoid confusion, this is you and this is your person for me. So let's get some more information here. Spirits. Tell me more about these energies. Get some more energies for you both. For Scorpio, please. I haven't even asked my question, but interesting. The crow. Another card about time. Tell me about Scorpio's energies. Tell me more about Scorpio's energies, please. Yeah, okay. So you might have something to say or you're waiting for a message. This is a very, um, this could even be a message from spirit. This is a very special message that comes in. It could be from a complete stranger. It could be from spirit. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are their energies this time? Scorpio's person. What are their energies at this time? Sorry, I don't want to take a card yet. Golden egg. Yeah, this is definitely something that needs to be talked about. I have the shark at the bottom. So there's like tension or like the elephant in the room. Let me look at the golden egg. This always reminds me of Harry Potter <laughs> for some reason. Okay. Golden egg. I know this is about a message but there's a black egg and stuff so I want to double check message at the center of the heart so yes this is a message that comes from the heart um, this is about becoming vulnerable so again we have a broken silence here um, this is someone that I feel like you both have something to say to each other um, you could have spirit or your intuition speaking to you here with the lamb and your person i feel like has something to say as well and i feel like it's something that it's like pent up energy i'm getting with the shark so over time no matter what time has passed i feel like you're both needing to have you know it's like you need to have something to say here or, or speaking up opening up Let's get some more information about how you are thinking or feeling about each other in this connection, Spirit. Tell me more for Scorpio. 
some of you could have been married to this person in the past others of you i feel like one of you are you know, at least in a commitment one of you at least tell me what scorpio is thinking or feeling regarding this person or this connection knight of cups reverse tell me what scorpio is thinking or feeling regarding this person or this connection nine of cups reverse strength reverse you haven't had the courage to speak up i'm also it's almost like yeah bottom of the deck two of swords it's like you don't know if you should speak up you're holding back in some way you're guarding yourself in some way leo energy here nine of cups reverse i don't think this is making you happy I don't think you've gotten your wish. I don't. Th I think it's. It, it would require an exchange for you to be truly happy. You would have to give something up. Tell me if that's resonating for you down in the comments. Tell me about Scorpio's person. What are they thinking or feeling regarding Scorpio or this connection? Queen of Cups reverse. <laughs> I feel like you're marrying each other. Can I get one more for Scorpio's person? Ace of Wands. So they definitely want a new beginning or are feeling passionate about something. We do have a Ten of Swords here. Two more for Scorpio's person. Two of Swords. Yeah, you're definitely marrying each other. And look, we have the King of Swords. Almost like, should I, shouldn't I? Should I, you know, speak up? Um, it's not like you don't, like this person doesn't know how they feel. Because I have the King of Swords. King of Swords they are very um they have a lot of intellect they're very analytical they're they have clarity they speak clearly they know things and i feel like you're both marrying each other you have the two of swords that came up for you and it came out for your person as well so both of you i feel need to break the silence let's see Let me clarify for Scorpio, please. I feel like you're both disappointed with the way things are, emotionally anyway. It's almost like you are closing down or shutting down your emotions here. But that doesn't mean that you're ignorant of them. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. Why is the Nine of Cups reverse? Yeah, this is about you. You need to speak up too. Knight of Swords. You could even be having a quick message coming in. Nine of Pentacles. I feel like you are this Empress or you're thinking of an Empress like energy because the Nine of Pentacles is kind of like a mini Empress. I feel like you need to be free, free of fear, free of the overthinking. I'm picturing like the Eight of Swords here. So it's almost like you need to be free of something in order to speak up. Why is the Knight of Cups reverse? The Knight of Cups. Why is the Knight of Cups? Yeah, Ace of Cups. Whether you're denying how you feel or whatever the case may be, I feel like you love this person. You would love an opportunity with this person. But I have the Ten of Wands here. So again, I feel like there's a burden that needs to be dropped. And you have the Ace of Cups. They have the Ace of Wands. You're mirroring each other. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. There's the Ace of Wands here. This person, I feel, I, dreaming about a new beginning, imagining, they're thinking about this. They're not making any action, though. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Oh, see, it would require them to walk away from something with Eight of Cups. It would require them to walk away, and I feel like this is what would happen. Like, they would walk away because of love because I feel like you're mirroring each other here. Temperance reverse. 
not the right time. It might feel like things are not really stable enough for this person. Why have this? Why is the two of swords here? Perhaps you know. I don't know. It's almost like they know what they need to do, though, because I have the king of swords here. So why the indecision? Why is the two of swords here? Ah, possibly because they're in a commitment. Or they're thinking of finances or stability. Why is the two of swords here? Three of wands reverse. Another card about like waiting, um, time, frustration, and patience. Can I get one more? Hermit energy. This person, they are thinking about how to make something happen. You have the magician at the bottom here. They're thinking a long, like a long, um, what's, what, what do I want to say? They're thinking long and hard about this decision. It's a tough decision because it would require a move, literally walking away from something. Um, why is the king of swords here? Virgo energy, by the way. Why is the king of swords here? Overcoming conflict, avoiding drama. This person's thinking about the fact that, yeah, to overcome conflict or fighting, to recover a loss, to come back from the cold or whatever the case may be, it would require them to do something about this bad investment or whatever situation they find themselves in. Yeah, they're stuck there. That's where the Knight of Wands reverse comes into play. They're stuck. That's why they're not having success. Chariot reverse, Knight of Wands reverse. Because they made the whatever they jumped into is keeping them stuck right now. And I feel like they don't want to they want to avoid the drama, but at the same time, it, it this is gonna require an exchange. It's not going to be so simple as just saying, you know, if you want to have a new beginning, then I get to do everything exactly like I've been doing. What is this person's next actions towards Scorpio going to be? What are their next actions going to be? Page of Swords. Communication of some sort. A message coming in. Death. A change there you are Scorpio showing up to your own reading a change a transformation the end of a cycle Wow so this person's next actions are going to require some sort of ending or change in their life Wow page of coin you got to be kidding me and then I have the higher font reversed Scorpio there's definitely something coming in for you from this person page of swords page of coin even though these are pages, small offers, small conversations, small messages, whatever the case may be, it's still regarding you. They might even talk about a change or an ending with you. Ask you for out for coffee or a drink or something like that to hash things out or talk about how they feel. Um, and this is going to take a lot of courage and a lot of... Um, it might even take a while because I have worth waiting for here. And I don't think this is going to happen overnight. So we're going to look at the extended, um, more information about their next actions here. These two messages and this change or ending. What is this? We're going to look at their true intentions and what are they secretly thinking or feeling about you? What else do we need to know about them and any advice? So thank you so much for your support and I will see you all in another video. Take care.